ओके सो वेलकम टू मॉड्यूल नंबर थ्री ऑफ फेसबुक मार्केटिंग व्हिच इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग फेसबुक कैंपेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स सो व्हाट इज द गोल ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल द गोल ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट कैंपेन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स एंड सिलेक्टिंग द राइट वन फॉर मैक्सिमम इम्पैक्ट सो वॉट इज द अजेंडा फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉडल सो फर्स्टली वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ऑर्गेनिक एंड पेड रीच सो knowing when to invest in advertising then we'll move to the ads manager user interface so the actual ad dashboard from where you can access different facebook's advertising features then we go to campaign types and objectives so facebook gives us the options of of executing different types of campaigns with different objectives so how do we find out the right objectives for us that's what number 3 is all about then we move to campaign ad set and ad structure so this is this is basically about the uh, about planning for comprehensive ad campaign so what does campaign allow you to do what does the ad set allow you to do and what does the ad structure allow you, allow you to do and then finally we have objectives cheat sheet which which basically summarizes the whole exercise and gives us a summary of picking up the right objective so let's get started right away so firstly let's understand what is organic and paid reach so what is organic reach organic reach is the reach that is achieved naturally or the reach that is achieved without investing any any kind of budget that is known as organic reach and then you have paid reach so the reach that you get by, by investing in facebook advertisements that is known as a paid reach all right now how do you figure out which is organic and which which of the post is actually a paid ad so basically this this the keyword here is sponsored whenever you see sponsored the word sponsored near any of the content that you see on facebook then that particular content is a, is actually a paid ad but when the when this word is absent when there is no sponsored word then that is an organic piece of content so let me show this to you on my on my news feed itself so this is my news feed and if you see this particular post if you see it's not a sponsored post it's an organic post why because there is no sponsor written so it's a post that is appearing on my news feed organically but as i come down this this ad by flipkart is a sponsored ad so obviously organic reach does not need any budget paid reach on the other hand requires budget but organic reach has limited impact why because there is a lot of things there are a lot of things that are happening on the people's news feed okay as we spend more on more time more and more time on facebook we go to subscribing various things we make new friends we like new pages we join new groups etc etc because of which there the, the, there's a steep competition of the of the various content that is trying to come into our news feed and because of this steep competition it, it becomes a little difficult to stand out in the news feed of the people just by depending on the organic initiative or the organic effort that is why it is necessary to turn to paid advertising or to sponsored advertising just to make a more impact on people by appearing in their news feed obviously facebook targeting allows us to appear in the news feeds of the people which are very very relevant to us and which is the right target audience for our particular business so basically how can we reach our audience effectively with facebook advertising so now facebook has a variety of campaign objectives and we, they they these campaign objectives have to be selected based on the goal on the business goal that we are trying to achieve now primarily these these campaign objectives are divided into three parts awareness consideration and conversion so as the names themselves suggest awareness is when you want to create awareness about your brand or your product or your service consideration is when you have a healthy interaction with the user and the users are in the consideration phase when they are getting to know more about your brand and the last is conversion when you when you enable the user to take the necessary action that you want the user to take so now let's look at the ad manager user interface so if you are an existing advertiser you will see ads manager or adwords manager so to the left if you can see all right and uh, if you are a first time advertiser you will you'll see create ad or create adword if you are an existing advertiser and you go to the ads manager you will see that there is a green button which gives you an option to create adwords 
when you when you click on that particular button you get to create new ads and when you click on create ad you will see this particular interface so the same the same buckets that we spoke about awareness consideration and conversion are appearing here and there are different sets of ad objectives market uh, depending on your market objective which can be selected and they are categorized between awareness consideration and conversion so let me go to my newsfeed and show you how you can access the ad dashboard so you can access the ad dashboard by clicking here by clicking uh, below create if you see there is an ad option you can when you click on this you get redirected to the dashboard or you can click on this drop down and on this drop down when you click on create ads you'll go to the same dashboard so let me click on create ad this is the dashboard that we are looking to use to set up our campaign now let's try to look at different campaign objectives because selecting the right campaign objective is absolutely essential if we want to have a maximum impact primarily or rather the only factor on which the selection depends is the business objective that we are looking to looking to achieve so facebook helps you achieve various types of business goals so if you see it it starts with raising brand awareness so if you want to raise brand awareness there are a specific set of objectives that you can use then there is generate leads so even leads can be generated by using these objectives then increasing local sales so if you have a local brick and mortar store you can use this option to increase your sales then drive online sales so if you are selling online the, these options will help you to do that and then you have promote your application so if you're trying to promote an app a mobile or a desktop app you can use this particular you can uh, facebook provides you with with uh, the relevant targeting with the relevant business objectives so that you can achieve that particular objective of promoting your app so let's talk about brand awareness brand awareness is basically letting the relevant people know about your brand making them aware about your about your brand so that people know what your business does and be the first business they think of you when they need what you sell so basically people should think of you when they're looking to buy that particular product or that particular service which you sell so it's all, all about brand recall when people feel connected to your business they are more likely to choose your products and services now the brand awareness in the awareness of in the awareness bucket if you see there are there is brand awareness objective so the brand awareness objective will show your ads to the people identified in your target audience as most likely to pay attention to them so by using this feature by using this option you can show your ad to people who are more likely to pay attention to your to your ad so this is an excellent objective if you want to create brand awareness if you want to reach out to the people for the first time and just make them aware about what you do and what you are all about now another way in which awareness can be created brand awareness can be created is by using the the boost post or post engagement now this post engagement feature is available in the engagement so when you click on engagement you will see that there are three options post engagement page likes and event responses so in in our case we are concerned with post engagement so post engagement allows us to show our normal organic post to a wider audience so it, it is similar to a boost post but uh, the the targeting filters here are a little more advanced than the normal boost post that can be done it from the page all right so just to just to conclude this topic of boost post basically boost post is available in the engagement op option so when you click on engagement three options open out of which post engagement is the option that we are looking for and post engagement allows us to to show our normal organic posts to a wider range of audience depending on the targeting that we do Another way of creating brand awareness is getting video views. So as the name suggests video views is about getting more and more view views for the video that we are that we have created and published. Now getting video views is a powerful option because video as we all know is a is a really impactful format of content. It's a really powerful format of content. So the the objective of brand awareness can be can be very very effectively achieved by using this particular objective. So we are done with brand awareness just a quick summary brand awareness typically consists of the the options of brand awareness one second was post engagement so basically reaching out to people through boost post and a third one was video views 
Now let's try to look at generate leads. So Facebook ad objectives also allow us to generate leads for our business. So find people who are interested in your product, help them initiate interest and generate more inquiries for what you sell. By making it easy for people to request more information or leave their contact details, you can create a clearer path to high quality leads. So I think this is pretty self-explanatory. So if we, if we feel the need to generate leads for our business, we always have the option of lead generation. What happens when you use lead generation is that a pop-up opens on Facebook itself. So the user, when, when the user clicks on the lead generation ad, a, a pop-up opens on Facebook itself. So the user does not get redirected to any website or any landing page. The pop-up opens on Facebook itself. Now, when that pop-up opens, it, it already has pre-filled information as far as name, email ID is concerned. So the information is pre-filled and when you click on next or when you click on submit, the information is, is delivered to the, to the business. So then the business gets your contact information, let's say your name, your email IDs, your phone number, and then the business can use this, this, these contact details to get in touch with you either through phone or through email IDs. That is how typically lead generation. The next is increasing local sales. So increasing local sales is obviously for the brick and mortar stores, for the, for the physical stores, which want to boost their sales by using these Facebook objectives. So drive footfall to your brick and mortar store by reaching people who are interested in your business by targeting users when and where they are example in your neighborhood on their mobile device you can bring them to your store much faster now the objective that allows us to to increase footfalls or to have have uh, increase our uh, our local sales is the store with its objective the objective of store visits basically allows us to feed a catalog of stores that we have so that when people are in the vicinity of your store, the ad is shown to them on their mobile phones. So store visits basically increases the footfalls and thus impact the sales of the of that particular store. Another way in which you can increase the walkings or increase the footfalls in the store is by getting people to claim your offer. So if you have an offer, Let's say if you want to offer some, some kind of a discount, you can choose to do that through get people to claim your offer objective. Now that objective lies or is, is a part of engagement. So when you click on engagement and when you go to post engagement, you can actually actually promote the promote the offer offer post so that it reaches out to the to the wider audience. Now as as the people claim their offer, they get a mail ID with, with the necessary details. And by using these details, the users can actually redeem this offer by walking into your store. Another way in which you can increase the footfalls in your store is by, is by showing boost post to the audience near your store. So again, boost post or promote post actually lies in the objective of engagement. When you click on engagement, you see that there is an option of post engagement, which increases the, the engagement of the audience with your particular post. Showing this post to the audience, which is in the vicinity of your store, increases the chances of them interacting with the post and also walking into your store. And lastly, you have the reach option to reach out to people near your store. So the function of reach is basically to reach out to the maximum number of people and Tell them the story about your business. So basically give them the details about your business. Tell them what the business actually stands for, what, what, do you, what do you sell and all of those things. Reach allows you to reach out to the maximum number of people and tell them about your business. The next is driving online sales. So the previous objective was to drive, drive local sales or offline sales. This, this particular thing is to drive, is for driving online sales. So close more sales for your online business by driving potential customers to your website. By bringing relevant customers to the right products, you build an easier path to purchase and give customers a reason to choose you. Now the objective that Facebook gives for us to achieve online sales is the conversion option. The, when, you, when you use the conversion option, basically you, you need to plant the, the, the Facebook pixel so Facebook pixels are basically codes that need to be inserted 
at the proper places in the website. Now, after these codes have been installed, you can use the conversion option to track all the actions that are that you want to keep a track of. By deploying these Facebook pixels, you can get to know how many people actually converted or took the necessary action that you wanted them to take. And based on this action, Facebook then further optimizes your campaign for better impact. Now, if, if, you, if you just simply want to increase traffic to your website, you can go with the traffic objective, which is there in the, in the consideration section. The, the difference between traffic and conversions is that traffic is primarily used only for driving traffic. Conversions, on the other hand, allow you to uh, track the different types of conversions. So conversions heavily depend on the Facebook pixels and they, they, uh, they allow you to track the number of people who have actually converted and taken the necessary action that you wanted them to take. Traffic, like I said, is simply for, for used for driving traffic to a particular page. Now the last is promote your application. So promote your mobile application and games so you can increase app downloads. Keeping your audience engaged and interested so your app can retain more users is also one of the functions of promote your app objective. Now, which, which objective does, does Facebook provide us? So the app install objective. The app install objective basically allows us to show the app install ads on, on, the, on the necessary devices. And when the, when the user sees the ad, the user can click on install. And that is how the user then has the particular application installed on, on his particular device. So these were the different campaign objectives. Now let's try to understand the hierarchy of the, of the whole Facebook ad campaign. So there are, there are three levels like you can see. There is campaign, ad set and ad structure. So what is a campaign? A campaign as you can see lies at the top of the hierarchy followed by ad sets and ads. So basically camp, one campaign corresponds to one objective. So if you want to have multiple objectives, you basically need to create multiple campaigns. So one campaign stands for one objective. All right. So campaign allows you to focus on a single business goal. Now, because each campaign focuses on one business goal, you can easily measure and optimize towards that goal. So like we just saw, there are different kinds of objectives. And these objectives have to be chosen according to the business goal that we have. So that particular objective will correspond to one campaign. And then we can, when we set up that campaign, we can easily measure and optimize to achieving that particular goal. You can have multiple campaigns, like I already said, and a campaign contains one or more ad sets and ads. So one campaign can have multiple ad sets, as you can see in the, in the picture. Now, now what are ad sets? So like, like we discussed, ad sets can be multiple. So one campaign can have multiple ad sets. Now, why is that? What is the necessity to have multiple ad sets? So within a campaign, you might feel the need to target different people, or you might need the feel you, sorry, you might feel the need to, uh, you know, have different budgets within a campaign or different placements within a campaign. So to, to address that particular challenge, we have ad sets. So in one particular campaign, there can be multiple ad sets. So let's take an example. Let's say you want to target three different uh, groups for a particular campaign. Let's say one is males and the others are females and the third is, let's say, you know, uh, teenagers. All right. So now in a particular campaign, you will have ad set one to target men, ad set two to target women and ad set three to target teenagers. All right, so that that is how the that is the how ad sets come into the picture, and that is what their utility is. So each ad set focuses on different audience segment. Within an ad set, you can control your targeting, budget, and placement. As such, this allows you from di form different groups of audiences for different ad sets. One ad set should be a unique audience segment. All right, you can have multiple ad sets, and an ad can contain basically one or more ads. Sorry, I, I beg your pardon. An ad set can contain one or more ads. So the second hierarchy is ad set and I hope you are clear with the with the use of having multiple ad sets. Now the third is basically ads. All right, now if you see one ad set can have multiple ads. So ads allow you to showcase different creatives. Creatives is, an, is a combination of the text and image which makes up your ad and text showing different creatives to the same audience segment to see which one works better. You can have multiple ads within an ad set. Now, the reason we have multiple ads in an ad set is, is because of the point two, 
basically having multiple ads enables us to test our campaigns because initially we would want to see we would want to optimize the campaign we want to have the maximum impact within a minimum budget so having multiple ads allows us to test and see which ads are performing well and which ads are not performing well and once you realize that okay let's say for example you have executed three ads out of which you know one is not performing well at all so maybe you can choose to pause that particular ad but this this uh, this insight can only be achieved if we have options to compare the performance with and that is why ads are you can you are ideally supposed to have multiple ads in a in a particular ad set so just to summarize the campaign is at the top of the hierarchy one campaign corresponds to one objective now ad set ad sets are necessary because in a single campaign you might feel the need to target different people with different placement and different budgets and ads are multiple ads are necessary because you you will feel the need to optimize your campaign and multiple ads will allow you to do so so now let's just review what we have learned so far so firstly we started off with with discussing the concepts of organic and paid and the understanding the difference between the two then we moved to the ads manager so how to find the ads manager then we looked at the different campaign objectives that facebook gives us the options that facebook gives us and how to select the right campaign objective depending on our business goals and then we looked at the the campaign structure which basically consists of the campaign level the ad set level and the ad level now let's just end with the cheat sheet a cheat sheet which basically helps us to understand it, it is basically a handy summary to picking the right objectives all right so which of these describe your business goal what is the business goal out of all of these is is where we start off and then depending on the answer to that we look at different we can consider different business objectives so based on your business goals which campaign objective should you select on facebook so for raise brand awareness you have the options of boost your post get video views brand awareness and reach for generate leads you have collect leads for your business for increasing local sales you have get people to claim offer boost your post store visits and reach and for driving online sales you have send people to your website and increase website conversions for promote your application you have increase app installs you can always learn more by by looking at the facebook blueprint course and that's it for today guys thank you all